One thing uh, we haven't done for you fans is show you just a little bit about uh, the history of Blue Ribbon Farms. We actually started uh, this farm back in the 80s, bought our first Pertrans, actually got them from, uh, they originated at the Willard Wilder family in, in uh, Washington. Uh, Willard and Charla had uh, shown them and uh, been in a lot of parades. That pair of mares taught me a lot. And they started out right here. And uh, we didn't intend to really breed, but uh, after buying those mares, they, uh, they came up pregnant. And uh, we started raising babies and, and uh, just, just went from there. But uh, I wanted to show you a little bit about the farm. Uh, this is one of the first buildings that I ever built here. Uh, I call it our carried shed. Come on down, I'll show you. There's uh, not a lot left here. Uh, this is where we used to keep all the wagons and the uh, what have you. And then uh, when we built the house over in town, uh, we moved some up over there. But there's still some in here that I think we need to take a look at. Now there's a few leaves on the floor and what have you, but uh, uh, a few of the uh, things here I just want to point out to you. Uh, that my dad, he was uh, he was retired and, and one of his hobbies was rebuilding spring seats. And uh, there's a half a dozen of them here that, that he uh, would take the irons and, and put all new wood back on. And, and rebuild them. Uh, and then here were some of my projects that I bought over the years and, and uh, never did really get to finish. This, uh, this is a little doctor's buggy that uh, had new wheels made, was going to redo it. Everything's here, including the, uh, the top, uh, needs to be redone. Got the shafts, just never did. Never did get around to it. Got new wheels here for the uh, French Top Sur. All the parts are there, just needs to be redone. Need somebody with a little more ambition than, I, than I've got today. This is uh, one of the first projects that, uh, that I made. Here's one of Dad's spring seats. Uh, put together a little four cart. Uh, very comfortable riding and, and, and it works really, really pretty well. Uh, ended up with uh, a bunch of stuff left over here that I never did move to the farm. Uh, collection of eveners, uh, uh, two horse, three horse, four horse eveners. There's some collars that uh, my dad actually uh, used in working horses when he worked horses on the farm. Uh, there's a couple over, older leftover saddles. Uh, what do you do with all this stuff? You know, it's, uh, it's, it's tough to give up on it, tough to throw it away, but yet you can only keep so much of it. Uh, this is not really on the subject of, uh, of horses, but over the years we, uh, we made a lot of apple butter. If you know what I mean by apple butter, you take several bushel of apples and, and peel them and core them and and uh, get up in the morning about six o'clock in the morning build a fire under this brass kettle it has to be a brass kettle it can't be uh just a regular cast iron or anything but you put those apples in there all day long back and forth you go with the stir stirring those those apples so they don't stick on the bottom see the holes in the paddles those were all handmade by dad so just a little bit of the collection that I've made over the years. I don't know what I'll do with it. You know, it's, uh, it's kind of tough to know what to do with this stuff. Anyway, that's a little bit of, uh, this was the, uh, the carriage room here. And, and uh, when we moved, we kind of abandoned it. Uh, oh, one more thing over here. Let me show you up on the wall. 
some of you may be aware of these. Uh, this set of bows for a, for a, a wagon. You can actually put a canvas on that, put those bows on, put a canvas on. Uh, on a buggy, you can actually pull the wheels off of a buggy and put those runners on and, and make yourself a sled. Uh, golly, this is just a bunch of stuff. Whoever armed clothes with a with an OR. Uh, yeah, little dinner bucket. This stuff I can't turn loose of, you know. Barbed wire. Uh, that was probably made in the 1800s. I don't know exactly when. Milk can, milk separator, corn shiller, lard press, butter churn. Pitcher pump, that came from down home. We actually used that, used to, used to pump uh, water with that. Uh, there's a set of springs that actually goes on a wagon. You can put those on a bolster and makes the wagon ride a lot better than have, not having them on there. So that just gives you a little bit of stuff that we've accumulated over the years. And uh, as you reach your mature years, you don't know what exactly to do with it, but you certainly hate to, hate to see it disappear. Now we probably ought to take you over and show you what I did save and, and uh, put over at the house. Why don't we do that? Okay, so when we built our house here in town, moved off the farm, uh, there wasn't enough elevation on the ground here to get a complete walkout basement. But I wanted to be able to get into the basement to access uh, the storage down there. So I built this, uh, this entryway. Come on with me. built this entryway to the basement. Instead of uh, two three foot doors, I used two three and a half foot doors. That makes seven feet. Uh, initially, what I was gonna do was uh, put uh, antique cars down here, but the city ordinance uh, said that I had to put double sheetrock up on the ceiling and all kinds of things. So I said, the heck with that. So I just started, uh, moving some of my uh, my wagons and what have you over here. So, maybe we ought to start on this side over here. I guess this is kind of what, uh, what got it all started. Uh, back, I don't know, my dad was still alive. Uh, in the 70s, probably about 75, we took a a uh, family trip up to Arthur, Illinois, and Dad found this doctor's buggy. And uh, he remembered uh, riding in the buggy all the way to uh, almost Cape Girardeau, which was uh, about 50 miles away to visit uh, relatives when he was a little boy. So he, uh, he decided to get him a buggy horse and a buggy, and, and he started out with this doctor's buggy. He didn't have a top. Just a, just a regular buggy, and uh, mom and dad would go riding in that, and I would take him in the parades and what have you. He had a ball with it. Uh, we've got a bunch of trophies and stuff sitting around, so you have to, this is a work in progress. You know, it's one of those things that you never ever get done. My next project was what uh, is called a spring wagon. This was actually out in the 
out in the woods, it was completely rotted down. The only thing that was left was the irons and like the brake and the springs. There's the brake control on that side. Well, we brought this thing in and Dad said, I think I can remember enough to help you put it back together. So he remembered how to make the axles, how to make the reaches, how to make uh, the bed. And he and I uh, built this and it's got two seats. That's covered up back there, it's got two seats. I had to uh, order these wheels. I got the hub size off of them and I ordered these wheels out of Ohio. Uh, there's a wheel company out there, but other than that, uh, Dad and I made this spring wagon. It was a project that uh, the two of us could spend time together and uh, turned out pretty neat. When the girls were little, they were born in the mid-70s, when they were little, they were too little to go horseback riding with us on weekends and what have you. We'd hook up a horse, got a set of shabs here for us, we'd hook up a single horse and uh, go on a little ride. So that was kind of the beginning of, of me driving.